when, when, you, when, when I was a devil worshiper, I was telling pastor, I deceived people for 25 years. That was my job. My job was to deceive you. The devil is a deceiver. The devil is the father of lies. So that was my job. He was my daddy. I do that. Now that I'm in Christ, I can't deceive you anymore. I got to tell you the truth. Because my daddy's truth. I started at the age of 12 years old. At the age of 12 years old, I was thrown to the dark side. And uh, they, they went on, and a couple of days later, they initiated me to the dark side at the age of 8 years old. I was the, I was the person at 10 years old. I was, I was recruited to the dark side. Did your family dedicate you to Satan? Yeah, I was dedicated at the age of 9. At the age of 10, I had my first ceremony into the dark side, into witchcraft, into Santeria. First ceremony in Santeria at the age of nine years old. From the age of eight, I was initiated with ceremony, rituals. I grew up in a family of witches and warlocks, worshiping demons from the age of eight to the age of 35. Uh, because I was the one that, from the age of 12, came into Santeria. And I became such a high priest, moving up the ranks from the age of 12 to the age of 35. So I had contracts with all the demons you can imagine. I had contracts with, and from the age of eight years old to the age of 25. I've been with, I, I was 25 years in a satanic side, from nine, virtual 10, all the way to the age of 35. 25 years in the occult. I was an evangelist for 25 years. I started at the age of 10 years old to the age of 35 years old. He pointed me on and he gave me the pentagram cut into my flesh. Mm. Which is an amazing story because the gentleman that was here, he was saying how that Satan tattoo disappeared. And, and my, the pentagram that was carved into my flesh with a razor, carved into my flesh with a razor with 21 symbols of the dark side. Because the devil works for 21. Uh, that's why Daniel prayed and his prayer was held back for 21 days. So that thing was carved into my flesh. And then after I became, I became a follower of Jesus Christ, it disappeared. I sold my, my soul to the devil. I got the marks in my body here. I got the marks here. I got the marks here. I got the pentagram carved into my flesh. I was saying, see, if you would have came back to me, we'll take care of them. And the devil was saying, if you, if you cut yourself open again, because I, ha I have these marks, and when I sold my soul to the devil, he said, you reopen those marks, and then I got this thing here. I got a mark up, up here that it, 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 it's, it's the symbol of the devil, the mark of, the, of, of that, uh, whatever, that pentagram crap. Follow Jesus Christ, it disappeared. As I got to a part of the tunnel, the devil came out bigger and more strong. I've never seen him like that. And he said to me, I've been with you since you were nine years old. I've been a father to you. And then when I went to one of the tunnels, the devil showed up and started speaking to me in demonic tongues. So I saying, I own you. I, 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 you were a bit with me since you was 10 years old. And the devil showed up, the devil started speaking to me in demonic tongues and started telling me, I loved you. I gave you everything. I was, I was your father since the age of 13. So he, in the midst of my pain and my hurt, one day I went to the schoolyard, the schoolyard, the playground, and I heard this preacher preach the gospel for the first time in my life. I was seven and a half years old. I heard the gospel for the first time in my life. And then at the age of nine, I remember this clearly, that uh, I was in the schoolyard, which was the back of a school. Uh, there was a big going on, uh, the service was going on there, and I seen the, the pastor. How is it that at the age of nine years old, at the age of eight, eight, eight years old, turning, well, I said eight, I was turning to eight, I was standing in the schoolyard, and I heard the gospel for the first time. You know, something did happen when you were eight years old that might have been maybe a turning point where you really sold yourself to the devil, and, and it was in church, right? Did you go to a... A service? Well, I went, I went, I went, actually it was like a, a schoolyard, like in the South Bronx, we had a lot of activity in schoolyards, okay. uh, a lot of music playing schoolyards. So there was a, 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 this individual pastor at the time, he set up a platform and he had like an event out, open doors. At 10 years old. A los años, a los 10 años. I was in a schoolyard. Yo estaba en la escuela. I hated Christians. Yo oía a los cristianos. I hated Christians because they had something. Yo odiaba a los cristianos. Because they thought. Porque yo pensaban that they were better than me. Que eran mejor que yo. Ten, at, at nine years old, I was in a schoolyard. A los nueve años, yo estaba en la escuela. And they were was, was preaching the gospel. Y estaban predicando el evangelio. And I, I, and, and, and I saw this pastor. 
I make the young people first. I'm not going to make the mistake that the pastor did with me when I was eight, when I was seven years old, he passed me by. And at the age of eight years old, I remember I was in a schoolyard, this, this from, the, from, the, from the second heaven, a, a, a necklace filled with different colors. And I heard a voice say, put it on. And, I, and at the age of 10, uh, a year later, I remember I was standing in a schoolyard playing with a friend. As I was playing with a friend, this necklace fell from the second, from the second heaven. I remember that a week later, a couple of weeks later, a week later, two weeks later, I was at a schoolyard, hanging out, playing with a friend of mine. And uh, I, heard, I heard something. <laughs> fell and hit the ground, and it was a voodoo necklace. And when I went to the toilet car reading, uh, as a little boy, at 10 years old, they... uh, uh, But when you were eight years old, your mom took you to a tarot reader. Mom, listen, I was blind twice. 1997, because I was trying to take a sabbatical from witchcraft, the devil took my sight. And then, my... I, 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 in 2002, the devil took my sight for three and a half months. Uh, losing my sight again. And, uh, I was blind for one year in 1997 because I wanted to take a sabbatical from the devil. And the devil took my sight for one year. I was registered with the Commission of the Blind in New York City. What? And then in 2002, the devil took my sight for three and a half months. And he said, what are you going to do now? Your God ain't big enough. I was blind with this Commission of the Blind. The, I have my legal contract right there with the Commission of the Blind in 2003, and I still went to church and worshiped God. Testimony after testimony, Ramirez claims to have been blind twice, once in 1997 when he was registered with the Commission of the Blind. Then in 2002, he was blind for three and a half months when as a Christian, God allowed the devil to attack him. Yet he just stated that in 2003, he was blind and registered with the Commission of the Blind. However, the actual certificate in his own book, Out of the Devil's Cauldron, says October 6, 2009. For being blind twice, we now have four different dates, 1997, 2002, 2003, and 2009. So uh, the, the, the principality came down about after 12 midnight. He came down, he, and he, he's speaking demonic language. He called me son. Could I say something to you? So I spoke back to the demon, and I told the demon, what do you want to tell me? He said, uh, this is what I want to tell you. He said, uh, you know what, Jesus Christ, you know what God threw us out of heaven? Because he was jealous of us. And, they, and the devil came down that night. He said, my son, could I tell you something? I said, sure, Father, tell me. He said, you know what God throws out of heaven? Because he was jealous of us. Only had three dreams in my life. One, I went to hell. The one, the Lord showed me that I was going to be an evangelist to Nikki Cruz. Uh, it was amazing because the dream was like I was in Nikki Cruz's house and I'm hanging out with Nikki Cruz in the house. And, uh, and, and, and Nikki had this big box with sermons in it. And he said, John, I, I, you know, I'm up in age. I'm up in age. You know, I want you to have all these sermons. And I'm like, Nikki, I can't take that, man. You, you, you bend your knee for that. For, for that. I, I can't take that in a dream. I was telling Nikki. And Nikki said, no, John, I want you to take it. I want you to take it. So I, I said, okay, I take it, Nikki. But I said, Nikki, I'm going to go to your kitchen and get some water. So I went to the kitchen. They had this voodoo guy in the kitchen. I said, oh, my God, that's why Nikki gave me the box, because Nikki flipped. Nikki's a voodoo guy in the dream. Nikki's voodoo now. I end up in this dream. I had three dreams in my life. I had three dreams in my life. One, I went to hell. I got saved. The second dream was my calling. And my calling was this. I ended up in Nikki Cruz's house. In the dream, I ended up in his house. So Nikki Cruz was, was retired in his house. And he had this big, big box, and the box was white, and it, was, and it glowed. And, I said, and Nikki said, John, I want to give you these sermons. You can preach your sermons, you know, I'm not preaching anymore. I said, Nikki, I can't take your stuff, man. You know, that, I don't think it's cool, but I take your, your, your stuff. And Nikki said, no, I want you to have them, John. And Nikki, because it's awesome. 
Nikki Cruz is an amazing, amazing evangelist. You know, I mean, he's still evangelizing. He's like 70 something years old, but he's still evangelizing. That's how awesome he is. And, and so he, he, he hit Nikki Cruz trying to give me this box in the dream. And I'm like, okay, okay, Nikki, I'll take the box. I said, I'll take it. And I, but let me go to your kitchen and get some water. So I went to the kitchen to get water. And I saw this, I saw this demonic demon standing in the kitchen, transformed like a human being with bees around his neck. I'm like, oh my God, I wonder Nikki wants to give me the box. The brothers devil worship it. I didn't hear about Jesus Christ until I was 35 years old. I heard this preacher preach the gospel for the first time in my life. I was seven and a half years old. I heard the gospel for the first time in my life. There was 25 years of my life. Habían 25 años de mi vida. I couldn't say Jesus. Que yo no podía decir el nombre de Jesús. Never heard of it. Nunca lo había oído. When I was a devil worshiper, I rented the Ten Commandments more than anybody else. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 because I, the two things that, man, I don't know if they had over here with these, my neighborhood used to have blockbusters. I don't know if they had that here. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So we used to have blockbusters, right? Yeah. And I used to go Holy Week, I used to hide from the devil worshippers and go to blockbusters, not to get caught. And I used to go to blockbusters and rent two movies and then watch it the whole Holy Week. I used to rent the greatest story ever told. Mm. Wow. Come on. In the Ten Commandments. Oh my God. Oh, and I was in the safe. Wow. I was killing people from left to right with witchcraft. What? I was destroying people's lives through witchcraft like you believe. <laughs> but when it came to Holy Week, I went into Blockbuster and got my two movies. I mean, you tell me about that guy has a sense of humor. I will put those things on. And I'd be like, you ever, I don't know if you watch, you know, TV, I mean, I don't know, there's some people younger here. I used to like to watch Shania Hall. Yes. And I used to like, poof, poof, yes. poof, poof, poof. So when Jesus walk on water, I'd be like, poof, poof, poof in my house. And Jesus had to take me to hell. To prove to me, I was even looking for love. I went to Catholic church. I was Catholic too. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And one day, uh, I was sitting down watching a TV show, and I heard a voice for the first time after 25 years. I heard a voice say to me, my son, I'm coming soon. What are you going to do with yourself? And he said, he talks to me in a demonic language. He speaks in demonic tongues. So I knew the demonic tongue. He tells me, my son, could I say something to you? And I said, I said what is it, father? And he said, let me say something to you. I said, sure. He said, you know what, Jesus, what, you know what God throws out of heaven? Because he was jealous of us. Be careful. The devil was sitting in the passenger side of my car when I parked. He said, you love me? I said, of course I love you, Daddy. He said, okay, so when you woke up, or came out of it. Mm -hmm. When I came did out of it, did you pray at that moment, or? Oh, oh, yes. When I came out of it, it was my, 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 you could feel my spirit go back into my body. It's a funny thing because my spirit went into my body like, like if I was in ICU. Mm -hmm. And then when I used to ask to project, my body, my spirit would come into my body in a different way. They go up. Uh, now we hear the term uh, silver cord and astral projection. Explain a, bit, a little bit about that. What, is, what are these terms? Well, I, to me, I projection. I used to do that. I, I, that's when, when, when you, you leave your body home, 
and your spirit travels to different areas, different locations, and stuff like that. And there's a danger to that because if if if, if you don't know what you're doing to that stuff, you you could die in your in your bed. So basically, the uh, yeah, a person has an out of body experience and under demon power, the, uh, the 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 soul actually parts from the body, but it's yet connected back to the. The physical shell with uh, a silver cord is that correct? Yes, and 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 if 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 you're doing you, if you're doing it in a way, and the demon and the demon is displeased of how you're doing it because he's the one that's directing you, showing you how to do it. You know, the demon can turn around and uh, keep your spirit out of your body and end up end up killing you. In other words, uh, that silver cord is ever loosened, it's over with. The the person has probably instant death, don't they? Yeah, the person then then they'll they'll say, well, the person died of natural causes, but they don't know the, the why the person died behind the scenes. So you know, if a person had an out of body experience uh, by God, God will maintain the body. But when you're doing it under demon power, and uh, you know, in violation of God's laws, the the devil doesn't take care of the the body, does he? Of course not. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And then when I used to, I used to project my body, my spirit would come into my body in a different way. And in the end of all things, when I came, the devil tried to hold me in hell because if he can keep me in hell, I would die out of my body. Because I would, when you astral project, you need a demon to help you astral project. You don't astral project on your own. So now that the devil had me in hell, and I was in hell, I couldn't get my my spirit back into my body because then they'll pronounce me dead on the earth. See, that was the game. And the only reason that I was able to see Jesus Christ is because he took me to hell. And God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. And I got saved when I was 35 years old. Kingdom of darkness, highly respected. How old were you at that point, John? 33. 33? Years old. Think about that. 33 years old. Yeah. And, uh, and God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. At the age of 33, the number of Christ, when Christ went home, I was sworn to uh, selling my soul to the devil. I have sold my soul to the devil, that marked my body, I shed the blood, and I signed a contract. How old were you at that point, John? 33. 33? Years old. Think about that. 33 years old. Yeah. And, uh, and God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. And I got saved when I was 35 years old. 33 years old. Yeah. And, uh, and God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. 33 years old. Think about that. I think that if you serve the Father of Truth, you should speak the truth. See, when I served the devil, my daddy was a father of lies, so I had to lie anyway. I couldn't tell you the truth, I had to lie to you. Because my father was the father of lies, so where am I going to learn from who? I'm learning from him. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Amen? So if I'm, if I'm going that, then, then why now that I'm serving Jesus Christ, he's the father of truth, he's all truth, why am I going to turn around and lie to you? I'm going to turn around and lie to you. I'm going to turn around and lie to you.